welcome to vlog 18. Good night, Gibson. See you later on, Gibson. Unfortunately, you can't come. What drink are you getting, Sam? Put it down. You put all the cord. The pies in this shop are famous. I want to drive over the damn wall. Not too fast. Not so fast or slower. Yeah, that's perfect speed. Just lost contact. Turn around and go back to where we came from quickly. Warning, disconnected. It's going home, it's going back to where we came from where we started. It's coming down, oh, it's coming down the street. Where, where, where? Up, 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 oh, it's crashed. Where? It's crashed. There it is over there. Wyvernhoe well, Dam was built following the Brisbane 1974 floods as flood mitigation and also as a water supply for Brisbane and South East Queensland. It's been five years since we've had any significant rainfall. The water level in this dam is 40 metres lower than it was for the 2011 flood. So normally it holds two Sydney harbours absolutely massive dam but at the moment it's down to 53 percent if the drought continues there will be water restrictions in southeast queensland again like we had back preceding the 2011 flood the amazing thing about wyvernhoe dam is the wall is 59 meters high and 2.3 kilometers wide the wyvernhoe dam has been here since 1984. But the thing about this dam too is because of the type of structure that it is, the spillway opens and the water flows out when the water level exceeds 100%. It's going to take cyclones, it's going to take big low pressure rain systems coming in over Wyvernhoe Dam for this water facility to reach maximum capacity again. Now look, there's a security car up at my vehicle. I wonder what it's doing there. No, they've continued to drive on. All right. So maybe they were gonna close the gates at six o'clock and we're going to be sleeping at Wyvernhoe Dam. That's always possible.
you should start posting 10 minute videos because that's what people are going to start getting recommended and we're starting to grow.